Hello everyone in this video, let us talk about uh, the request types in uh, Jira service desk. So in the previous video, uh, we talked about uh, various uh, workflows that we have in uh, Jira service desk and we spent some time understanding uh, all those workflows that had uh, comes with the IT service desk templates. So those workflows can help you in getting started with the Jira service desk very quickly. So in this video, let us spend some time looking at the request types. Now, when you have to configure your Jira service desk project, you need to have the project or rather the Jira admin rights. So if you are a Jira administrator, you can go to the project settings and when you go to the project settings, uh, you can uh, then uh, do a lot of changes to your uh, project. You can modify the configurations, you can modify schemes, workflows, and uh, you can do a lot of things. So today, let us just focus on, fo focus on the request types. So the moment you open your project settings, you are presented with this uh, request uh, types uh, screen where on top you do have few things like summary details, re-index and delete a project. So don't do, don't delete a project right now because we just started using it. So just focus on request types. Now request types are nothing but uh, those options that you see on the customer portal. So this is basically for your customers who will come to the portal to raise uh, tickets. Now if you look at uh, the request types right now, on the left hand side, you do have a few ways to organize your request types in a better way. So you may have, let us say, a list of 50, not 50, but maybe 20 request types. And you want to probably group them so that all the request types that are probably similar, they are under a group. So you can create a group if you want. So right now we have groups like common request, Logins and accounts, computers, applications, servers, and uh, infrastructure. You can also create your own uh, group. Let us say you want to create a group uh, for uh, uh, maybe IT related issues. So this is like a dedicated group that uh, we have. And uh, what you can also do here is, uh, if you look at uh, the uh, the common request that you have already, uh, you you do have like a lot of uh, these uh, these request types already added for you. So here, if you notice, you have first of all the name of the request, then it is mapped to the issue type. So internally, everything is mapped to your uh, issue types in uh, Jira. Then you can have a description and then you can also configure the fields uh, or you can also configure the groups. So one request type can be part of um, uh, or uh, yeah, one request type can be part of multiple groups. So maybe I want to uh, also make sure that uh, my get IT help is part of my IT related issue. So let us just do that very quickly. We can also move the desktop and uh, laptop support. So if I get rid of my face, you can hopefully see this uh, desktop slash laptop support. I will click on the edit group and I will also add it to the IT related issues. And uh, let us now create a new request type. So if I go to the IT re related issue, I can then specify first of all the icon so let us say if I want to create a request type for a keyboard related issues. So keyboard, not keyboard issues. I think this is, this is a good name. And I want to map it to maybe incident because it is an incident. Your keyboard is not working. You're not able to do any work. So you can write here our description report to keyboard related incidents here and uh, you can click on the create request type. And the moment you do it, your request type is added. And before I do 
any more change i can uh, go to the portal i will click on this uh, link here called raise a request in a different window so that i can uh, see or i can uh, show you uh, the change that i just did especially with the new group so we have a new group called uh, it related issue if i click on it we have of course these two issues get it help and desktop laptop support but we do have like a new request type so if i click on it i can raise uh, my uh, request so right now we just have a summary so maybe i want uh, maybe something else so you can click on the edit fields i want to also ask the uh, user to specify or to, to have some description so i can add a field here like uh, maybe i want a description and uh, maybe i want to have priority uh, maybe not priority but maybe impact and urgency because uh, for the customer they can tell you what is the impact and and what is the urgency but pri priority in my opinion or rather not my opinion but if we talk about itsm or service desk it is something that is based on the impact and urgency so if the impact is critical urgency or if the impact is company wide or country wide it can be or urgency is uh, critical then the priority is p1 or high so you, you you can have your own definition like based on the uh, metrics, priority ma metrics or severity metrics. Uh, we'll probably talk about uh, how to automate your uh, your calculation or uh, the, I mean, the, the metrics for severity and priority can be based on other fields, but you can also set the priority automatically based on your impact and urgency. But your agents can al always modify it when they are working on the ticket because they know whether it is really urgent or not or the priority is p1 or maybe p4 so i want to capture description maybe an attachment and uh, i believe this looks good so let us just apply and uh, we have these fields added to the uh, request type or request form because we are we are now adding uh, fields to the request form for request form is the form that you see on the portal now one thing that i want to mention here is that uh, Although I am able to add a new field, but these fields uh, should already be there in your screen mapped to the request type. Uh, so in background, we have a request type called incident. And for incident, we have uh, different screens associated with the incident. So let us say uh, you have a screen for creating the incident, you have a screen for editing the incident, and you have a screen to view the incident and when i when i talk about these uh, three type of type of screens you can have just one screen for all these three operations but uh, internally uh, the issue type should have that particular field that you want to add and, and expose on the portal add it to the edit screen so this is really important because th this is something really common people are trying to add a field here but i mean they add a custom field in jira but they don't see that field here so first of all, you need, you, uh, you need to add the custom field in Jira. Then you need to add that particular field to the edit screen of your issue type, uh, which is in your project. And then you need to add uh, that particular field in the request form. So it's a bit, uh, I mean, it's not really very straightforward, but uh, once you know how to do it, it is not difficult. So I have these fields with me and most of these fields are uh, not required. I mean, I want to keep it optional but you can uh, make it required if you want so let us uh, take a look at the request type and if i refresh my uh, form i i am able to take a look at my form with new fields so this my keyboard is uh, broken i can have a description please uh, help me with uh, a new keyboard and I can also fill my impact. Uh, it is not really extensive. It is probably moderate because it is just me. Uh, and uh, the urgency is medium. So it would be good to have a keyboard soon, but uh, it is not like uh, something really bad uh, that is happening right now. So, uh, so right now I believe uh, there is a problem with my Jira instance and uh, I will probably fix it first. Let me just click on refresh. So yes, my Jira instance is down. So let me just fix it and then I'll uh, continue with the uh, video.
Okay, so we are back uh, after this uh, short uh, interruption. Sorry for this uh, delay. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to show you how to add uh, various fields that uh, we can do while, while we are configuring the request types. Uh, so let me just raise a ticket uh, for my keyboard issues. So I can say here that my keyboard uh, my keyboard is uh, is not working. I can attach a file if I want. I can have a description. Please uh, help me ASAP. And I can have uh, impact, uh, maybe moderate and uh, and the urgency is medium. So when I click on the create uh, button here, this ticket will be uh, created. And internally, it will be of course, uh, a ticket will be created in my Jira project, my ITSM project. But uh, what I wanted to show you is that uh, since we mapped it, mapped this request type to, I believe, an incident, so we can always uh, track it uh, using incident incident issue type. Now, uh, this mapping is not always required. You can always uh, create a ticket in Jira directly if you want. So first of all, let me take a look at this ticket, which is my keyboard is not working, which is listed here uh, on top under my uh, uh, under my queues called all open. Now, if I look at this, uh, it is of course uh, a standard incident. And one thing which I wanted to show you is this request type here on the right hand side. So when you uh, raise a ticket from the portal, you will have a request uh, type uh, also mapped to the actual issue type in uh, in Jira. Now at this particular stage, uh, if you want to keep all these, uh, my keyboard is not working or maybe uh, to be more specific, uh, keyboard related issues uh, in a separate queue, you can, al you, you can always create a new, new queue. For example, you can click on the new queue and you can have something like uh, keyboard issues. I think uh, it's a good name. And uh, you can use uh, the uh, the option here to to basically specify uh, your request types uh, related to the keyboards. So I can uh, select my request type here and I need to switch to advance. So I can probably type in here uh, uh, request to uh, let me just uh, customer request type yes is equal to or maybe yeah it is probably equal to uh, keyboard let me just try to find my keyboard here so it, it is all about uh, using the interface if you know how jql works uh, it is not very difficult so you can find here uh, keyboard issues and uh, maybe you just want to focus on uh, uh, resolution is uh, is not equal to uh, unresolved or maybe it is equal to uh, unresolved so you just want to focus on all the issues that are uh, not yet resolved so you can click on the create button and you will have a, a new keyboard issue added for you you can uh, move it uh, maybe right next to your incidents and you also may want to uh, copy this sign here, this arrow sign, so that you have. So it looks like it is part of the incident uh, queue as a sub queue. It is not really a sub queue. There is no such concept in uh, Jira Service Desk natively, but you can uh, make it look good. So now we have keyboard issues, and uh, we can we can of course uh, add more columns if you if you if you, if you want. But uh, this is how you will create a new request. Uh, type along with the, the option to also add it to a group if you want. So this looks good so far. Uh, what we can also do he here is that uh, you can of course ask people to raise uh, a ticket from the portal like uh, they can fill up this form and uh, the impact and urgency these fields are also exposed along with any other field that you want on the portal but it is also possible to uh, make few fields uh, 
hidden from the portal but still they can have some default value so in the next video we will probably continue a bit more on the uh, request uh, types and uh, we will see how to have uh, maybe a default value for uh, for some of your fields uh, on the portal so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much